<laughs> hi, it's Timmy Joe. I um, I make Lego with my kid. It's not because I'm a nerd. Shut up. Uh, hi there. We're here to talk about some pretty cool storage options here. NAND flash. Huh? Really huge SSDs on your SATA line. Huh? It's pretty cool stuff. This is uh, my digital SSD stuff. Uh, they sent it over to me for a build that is upcoming near the end of this month. A huge, awesome, dramatic Ryzen build. It's going to be pretty epic, so stay tuned. You can follow me on Twitter to find out all about it. There's some pictures up there. But uh, let's get some housekeeping out of the way. We have a build here. This thing's the, uh, you know, blue, blue build. I wanted uh, some suggestions in the comments. So, okay, okay, okay. Said I should call the build, I just blew myself. I just blew myself. Thanks, Tobias Funke. I like your never nude jeans. Uh, William Peterson said Blue Moon Rising. That is pretty damn clever. It's a little bit too long and it's maybe not so much my speed, but it's very clever. So very, very uh, big ups to you. And uh, the, the winner, uh, I just had to pick this. This computer with its blue LED goodness is called Blue Angel. Thanks, Jesse Guzman. You're crazy. Ha! So, we're going to talk about storage today, and it's going to be fun. So, cue up an intro. We're going to find out what the difference is between uh, this NAND flash being NVMe and this NAND flash being SATA, and how, you know, the, the fastness of the, the differences between. So, cue an intro. We're going to talk all about it. So, maybe you've never heard of this company before, uh, My Digital uh, SSD. They have some products on Amazon. They actually do a lot, uh, everything from portable mobile SSDs, uh, some, you know, anything to do with flash storage they're in on. This is their only NVMe drive, but uh, they got a whole host of uh, 2.5 inch drives. This one being very, very uh, affordable, actually, compared to its Samsung brethren. It is uh, about 20 to 30 to 40 dollars cheaper uh, for the same amount of storage. And as we'll find out in a moment, it's actually a bit faster than the Evo stuff. It's probably more in line with the Samsung Pro stuff. So that's pretty cool cool uh but yeah what's the what's the deal here well i'm gonna throw a, a link to a tech quickie episode up here uh from linus tech tips or whatever where they explain the difference between uh, nvme and sata drives basically in a nutshell this is a lot quicker because it's using newer technology and newer architecture. It uses the same lane as the uh, what, you know the way your graphics card communicates with your computer. Where uh, older stuff, SATA, you know, it's, it's fast, but it's designed around uh, the architecture of a moving head in a mechanical drive. So it has its limitations and it's slower. But what I did here was I actually uh, ended up sort of upgrading from. Um, a Samsung Evo with a go-between SanDisk SSD. Uh, this is a five or 250, sorry, and uh, that this is an 850 Evo, and the SanDisk is a 120. I was using that to, you know, just kind of buffer videos, uh, in, you know, as a go-between because it's it's you know faster than the mechanical hard drive, but there isn't a lot of space there. And then I had all of my backup videos and my games on a four terabyte uh and then i have a network attached storage that does a backup of all that stuff but uh basically i'm running my video games off of a slower mechanical drive and uh what i was uh kind of thinking was ben talking to him over there at my digital uh he sent me this stuff says uh you know why don't you have a real world scenario kind of shootout between using uh an ssd that's from sat you know using sata technology and compare it to this new nvme drive you know for load times and stuff like that yeah, but yeah let's do a real world scenario here so let's get the uh synthetic benchmarks out of the way i i have actually the opportunity to kind of show the difference between uh this and the samsung equivalent because a friend of mine just up upgraded his computer and did a Samsung Evo 960 NVMe drive. 
So uh, putting that up on the screen here, you can see the crystal benchmark, uh, the crystal disc benchmark. Uh, th this actually rides on the coattails of the Samsung being like almost as fast, like a C here off, and it's cheaper. So, you know, basically it's, it's not as fast because comparatively at these speeds, you're not going to be able to tell too, too much. And uh, my digital actually is uh, introducing a newer line in the next month or two. Uh, they switch from BPX to SBX, and uh, that's going to be some even faster, more affordable stuff. So, you know, keep an eye out on them. They, they have some pretty good stuff. And then this stuff is, is real cheap. You know, so you might as well, if you're on Amazon, check them out if you're in the, the market for a hard drive. But uh, let's check out some other benchmarks comparing the uh, BPX and BME to my Samsung Evo. Yeah, like the write speeds are uh, about two and a half times better on this. And the read speeds are about three to four times faster in synthetic benchmarks. That is awesome. That's crazy. And then, you know, for kicks, we'll show the SanDisk here. It has real trouble. That just goes to show that, you know, from uh, a newer SSD like the Samsung Evo and uh, that SanDisk I picked up a long time ago to use as my OS drive maybe like three, four years ago. So uh, updating your SSD even to some newer stuff, you know, in, in the SATA department these days does show performance increases. That is for sure. So real world scenario with this stuff. We're going to compare using the uh, BPX uh, NVMe drive and this one terabyte drive uh, for my games and uh, with using the Samsung and the mechanical drive because that's probably your, your situation. Should you upgrade to an NVMe drive and maybe use your old SSD as a games drive? Maybe you, you know, you're building a whole new computer and you're wondering where you should put your money? Well, you know, it's not always the best video card wins. You know, the loading times on video games maybe, you know, might frustrate you as much as dips in FPS. And a slower hard drive might actually cause dips in FPS if it's trying to access information on a mechanical hard drive and it can't quite get there. So uh, let's look at some games. Well, GTA used to take a minute and 15 seconds for me to go from the desktop to the game and playing. And uh, then I switch over to this situation and now it takes 43 seconds. So we shaved about 30 seconds off of the load time on that game. That doesn't seem that impressive, but GTA is a pretty, you know, long loading game to begin with. So uh, I'd give it a little bit of, uh, you know, a pass on it not being incredibly faster. But uh, it did improve it nonetheless, like by 30 seconds. The real story here is with some other games. Rise of the Tomb Raider used to take 45 seconds for me to go from my desktop to clicking play on the first starter screen uh, that's on the desktop to actually running the benchmark. It now takes 20 seconds. So fast, I, in fact, I kind of had to scramble to press everything quick enough to kind of like keep up, which is awesome. So it shaved you know, more than half the time off the load time on that game. That is incredible. Battlefield 1 used to take a minute and 30 seconds to load from the desktop to a mission. And I picked the same mission both times. It went from that to 48 seconds. So we shaved uh, 42 seconds off of the load time on that game. That is crazy. And then The Witcher 3, it used to take 48 seconds for me to go from the desktop to seeing his beautiful hair flapping in the wind. It now takes 20 seconds. So we shaved more than half of the time off again. So going from, you know, an SSD and a mechanical drive to an NVMe and using, a, you know, an SSD that's on your SATA drive, like that's a huge improvement. And I'm sure overall it'll actually help with your 1% and your whatever, 0.01% lows in your video games because there's not, they're not going to be searching for textures and stuff like that on your hard drive. Uh, you know, if it has to grab a new level like that, the load times between levels aren't going to be as bad. So real world scenario, this is actually a worthwhile improvement in my opinion. Opinion. Another real world scenario is let's say you got a bunch of pictures, maybe you're a content creator, you work with uh, images or video files, or you know, you want to zip something up or make copies of something. Well, I got some real world benchmarks on that. Using the Samsung Evo here, I took the Fallout 4 folder and I wanted to make a direct copy of it. It's about a 40 gigabyte folder. And uh, on the Samsung drive, uh, you know, using it as my OS drive, keep that in mind. It took 3 minutes and 48 seconds to make a perfect copy of it on the drive. 
3 minutes and 48 seconds. And it started off at about 400 megabytes a second and went down to 37.6 megabytes a second. And I ran this test more than once. So this is the best uh, of those, uh, the, you know, the two attempts. On the BPX, it took a minute to do the same operation. So I went from it taking 3 minutes and 48 seconds, almost 4 minutes, to 1 minute. So it's about 30, you know, 30% 30 of the time. So 75% improvement, 72% improvement, that's crazy. Now, rawing or, or compressing stuff into, uh, you know, a compression file, uh, that might be something you do on a, you know, an often basis if you're sending pictures or something like that to somebody, you need to compress them, put them in a file. Uh, I wanted to see if it affected that as well. Uh, going from uh, the Samsung, it took 20 minutes to RAR the Fallout 4 folder. Keep in mind that is has a bunch of different kinds of files in it of varying compressions. And it, it, it actually took it down about 10 gigabytes. It went from about 40 to th 30 uh, gigabytes in that compression. It took uh, 20 minutes, though. 20 minutes and 3 seconds. On the BPX drive, it took 8 minutes. So having an NVMe drive certainly affects compressing files as well, which was a huge surprise to me. It must just have easier access, can handle more information. So real world scenario here, if you do a lot of, uh, you know, rawing and compressing, a uh, drive like this is certainly going to help out. To unrar that same file, it took six minutes and 55 seconds on the Samsung and on the uh, BPX here, it only took two minutes and 46 seconds. So an improvement of oh, like more than half. <laughs> That's crazy. So in real world scenarios, upgrading to uh, an NVMe certainly has its benefits. It's going to be a lot faster for access times. I've tried to judge whether Windows loaded quicker. It didn't, it only seemed to load by maybe like three or four seconds faster. But I think Windows has just gotten really good at kind of putting itself in a, a very easy to load state. As well as just going from a mechanical hard drive to any solid state drive is going to improve the load time of programs in Windows, you know, quite a bit. And uh, I think Windows, you know, you don't really see the dramatic improvement there unless maybe there's a Windows update or something like that. Maybe it would dramatically improve those times. Uh, but I haven't seen that yet. So should you go with, um, you know, this My Digital stuff? Well, you know what? Uh, I don't see why not. It's very well priced, especially for their uh, uh, BP5 line here. It is very fast and comparative to the, you know, the Samsung Pro. And it's cheaper. Uh, this here, it's cheaper than the Samsung equivalent of the, the Evo. It's uh, kind of priced in the middle right now, but they are launching a new version of this that should uh, end up bringing the prices down. So uh, keep in mind that that's going to be happening. But th this drive is very fast and it is very, you know, fairly priced as it is. So check them out. My Digital, uh, you know, uh, makes a good product. My Digital SSD. Links in the description below. There is a build coming up. Uh, a crazy build i gotta say uh check it out on twitter but near the end of the month we're gonna replace this guy with a ryzen themed build that is just gonna be insane but for the time being we've got little blue angel right here working real hard uh for that build i've got 32 gigs of crucial ram we're gonna be looking at soon too uh they sent that over for the build it's red you know matches the, the new theme go check it out on twitter but i am at watch timmy joe on instagram and twitter nvme storage it's a huge improvement uh you know what you'll see like a crazy improvement on your load times on your programs and stuff like that and just get uh get an ssd no matter what if you're doing a new build that is definitely my recommendation as your os drive but if you can afford going with an nvme drive as your os drive maybe making it a little bit smaller but getting a large ssd for your video games for your you know the files you access you know a lot that is a, a huge performance improvement and i would definitely recommend that you guys have yourselves a good day check this stuff out at watch timmy joe on instagram and twitter and i will see you upcoming lots of videos this week Boom!